वॉचिंग न्यूज मेड इजी एंड आई एम ऑन इंदु चक्रवर्ती इंडिया इकोनॉमी इज इन अ बैड शेप इट्स इन ट्रबल राइट एंड इट्स गोइंग टू टेक अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू गो बैक टू द ट्रेंड पाथ ऑफ ग्रोथ दैट वी हैड टू गो बैक टू द ग्रोथ पाथ दैट वी हैड ऑफ अबाउट सिक्स सेवन ऑट परसेंट एंड वाई एम आई सींग दैट ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट द जून क्वार्टर डेटा दैट वी सींग ए real gdp growth of more than 20% in april to june 2021 nominal gdp growth of more than 30 nearly 32% that looks like a great recovery right uh, first let's just get the uh, get this out of the way real gdp which is what is normally quoted which is what is normally discussed by economists and uh, the pundits real gdp is the actual actual number of goods and services available to you and me in the economy that is what we call real gdp that has been produced when we talk about nominal gdp we say okay these are the good services goods and services in the market how much will we have to pay in today's prices to buy them that is nominal gdp in today's prices obviously uh, you know that you can have zero real gdp growth right but high nominal gdp growth if prices rise it's as simple as that right to explain that let me uh, take the example of any person who had a salary of 50000 rupees in year 1 and in year 2 that rose to 55000 rupees what is the raise they've got 10% now in year 1 let's say that they bought uh, a set of goods and services which cost them 50000 rupees they bought exactly the same set of goods and services in year 2 inflation was 10% average inflation was 10% which means that whatever you could buy for 50000 rupees in year 1 costs 55000 rupees in year 2 so the raise that he got of 10% the person got of 10% is exactly taken away by the inflation of 10% so on the face of it there is a 10% raise but real raise is 0% there's been no real raise so but on, we need to know both of these to know that what is happening to the real economy as well as what is happening to the way in which prices are moving so both of these numbers are published so i'm going to take a look at per capita gdp because it's okay to say all right our gdp is growing but if the population is growing at a faster pace then obviously per capita or per person gdp is not growing fast enough so, right so let's first look at nominal gdp nominal gdp and uh, versus uh what happened to nominal gdp if you look at it nominal gdp right now per capita nominal gdp in the june quarter was close to 37800 rupees i've rounded off the numbers because in any case it's a spurious accuracy that we talk about both are surveys whether it's the population estimate or the gdp estimate so i'm saying 37800 rupees was the per capita nominal gdp or in today's market prices of uh, Uh, of uh, our country now imagine that uh, imagine that this growth had taken place at the same rate as it had between 2011 and 2019 the reason i'm saying that is because between 2011 uh, to 2019 uh, we had a nominal gdp growth of uh, almost 10.1% every year right this is pre covid every year our nominal gdp per capita nominal gdp per person gdp in market prices that prevailed in each year when we compare that it was growing at 10.1% similarly uh, if we take that and say okay that's the trend that should be the normal trend where would we have reached in terms of nominal again today's market prices per capita uh, gdp 45800 rupees in this quarter the april to june quarter now look at that gap we still 18% away from that path that standard trend path that was taking place of per capita nominal gdp growth 18% away we have not recovered we have not come close to recovery or right, let's look at real gdp what is happening here the same thing i'm going to take real gdp of each year divided by the population of each of those quarters in each year and divided by the population of india of that period and let's see what happens right now our real gdp per person is approximately 24000 rupees all right if the trend and the trend was the trend that we saw was effectively 
uh, approximately about 5.3% is the real GDP growth in the June quarter compared to the previous June quarter on an average between 2012 to 2019, 2011-12 to 2018-19. And that is, again, the pre-COVID year. And what do we have? If that trend had continued, then our real GDP per person right now would have been about 30,000 rupees in this particular quarter. Now, what's the gap? That's a gap of 20%. 20% gap right there. So, if we try to look at the growth path that should have taken place if there had been no COVID, this is where we should have been. And we are not there. That's a crucial thing to remember. All right, you'll say, well, what can we do? There was COVID. Yeah, exactly. There was COVID and there is COVID. And therefore, policies need to change to deal with that. Because, let me tell you another thing. There has been a big fall in the GDP of the January to March period when there was a recovery. And when we compare it to the uh, April to June period, the April to June period has fallen sharply. Um, People have pointed out, economists have pointed out, this is not uh, odd because every year, and you can see that on this graph, you'll see it on this graph that every year what happens is that between the March quarter and the June quarter, which is January to March, compare that to uh, April to June, in the June quarter, the GDP falls. That's partly because of uh, seasonality. Certain things are produced in certain seasons which pushes up the GDP, such as agricultural products, right? So the June quarter always sees a slight drop. And if I take, again, the average for uh, between 2012 to 2019, what do we get? On an average in the June quarter, every June quarter, what happens is that the GDP falls by about 3.2% compared to the previous quarter. So between March and June quarter, there's a GDP decline of 3.2%. We know that in the previous year, there was a dramatic drop, right? There was a huge 30% drop in our real GDP uh, between uh, the March quarter to the June quarter in 2020. That was because of the lockdown. It had to happen. Things weren't uh, open. What happened in this year? You can see what's happened in this year as well. There's been a sharp decline and that decline is of 17%. Remember, if we had come back to even somewhere close to recovery, our drop between the March to June quarter should have been 3, 4, 5%. This is a 17% drop. That means that any recovery that we saw in the first three months of this particular year, 2021, we have seen a reversal. Of course, that was bound to happen because there was a second wave that came between the April to June period. The point is to recognize it. Not to evade it, this is the truth. We have to recognize, understand it, and, uh, and tackle it. It's for the government, policy makers, to deal with it and bring India back on a growth path. It's going to take some time, but if we are like ostriches, stick our neck in the sand and say nothing has happened and everything is fine, then it will be even worse and even more difficult to come back to our old growth path. That's the show today. Keep watching News Click.